Hey everyone, welcome back to Parasite Eve. Uh, I was going south in the last part. Uh, turns out it is exactly as I said, uneventful. Man, aren't you glad I figured that out? And if you said no, well, uh, I guess there's only one way to go. And that's waste everyone's time as I get the ladder that we found in the last part. Uh, I, I know you've been looking forward to that, and by looking forward to that, I mean you, you the one person watching this, thank you. I appreciate your, your patience, your patience and your eagerness for me to actually make progress. You're beautiful. Now let's actually do that as we go through the door, the mystery door on the top floor of this whole entire thing. I believe it's based on a real place. Oh my god, there's human bones and skeletons and uh, models and anatomy. Anatomy is the real word I was trying to think of. Uh, there's a raptor here. He has nothing to do with human anatomy, and god help me, if he did, uh, that would be impressive. The only thing he really cares about is what the human anatomy is made of. As in, he wants to eat it. Or she. It. It wants to eat it. I don't really know. I can't tell. It's PlayStation 1 graphics. How am I supposed to tell if it's a boy or a girl? It doesn't even matter. I mean, technically, it's a zombie. It's a zombie dinosaur, because let's be honest. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? It's like your average setting, except they're all skeletons. You got, like, daddy skeleton with the paper, mama's... Is that mom's skeleton? I can't really tell with the glare and whatever. Uh, that looks like a little baby skeleton playing with some balls or something. I don't really know. Uh, quiz machine. What you got? By taking mitochondria, which uses oxygen. The, the, getting tongue tied. Which uses oxygen as its nutritional source into the body and living with it symbolically. The bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy with. What is the consequence? Oh, uh, cell destruction due to overload. Yeah, totally. Slow cell reproduction rate. Um, aging. It's aging. Can I actually read the description? Because I would love to. Uh, no, I can't. Damn it. It's the one thing I really want answers to. We got uh, little models of the organs and stuff like that. I'm sure all of you care about that. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Humans are boring. I'm a human. I don't really care about humans. It uh, looks like we have a little more of my interest on the floor in which I walk. Because, I mean, it seems like it's talking about evolutionary traits. Like, what became what and what was it based upon originally that, like, diversed into what? A little bit of an evolutionary tree that we got going on here. I'm about to get hit. About to get run over. Like so, but I digress. It's all cool. I can deal with these armadillers. They're not that big of an issue for me. Uh, we already saw them in the last part. Also, we, it looks like we got a little bit of a human evolution thing. I'm sorry if anyone's offended. Also, it looks like I got the revive spell, the auto life spell, which is kind of all right. Uh, I'm sorry if anyone's offended because they don't believe in evolution, or rather, it's, uh, it offends them in any way. I can't help it. It's the game telling me about it. Also, I find it extremely interesting. I love evolution. That's why I like this game. It puts all these ideas. Uh, but I digress. In 1987, Kane and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from mitochondria Eve. I'm... Not sh entirely sure, but I think that's correct. Which organism is thought to be mitochondria Eve? Chimpanzees in Indonesia, female monkey in the Galapagos, uh, African female. It's an African female. Life came from Africa. It's the origin place, so to speak. I mean, I can't really say. I'm not. I'm no biology major. I'm not an expert when it comes to evolution. I don't know these things. It's still just a video game. It's quite it's quite fantastic if you ask me. I, I love a lot of the concepts that it portrays, especially with the whole evolution and mitochondria. It, it's very interesting if I do say so myself. I uh, love it. But I digress. This isn't me going about like all the concepts that are introduced. It's just 
what the fuck am I dealing with? I mean, yeah, totally. Uh, if, if there's anything to take away from this, uh, Myochondria are gonna rebel. Uh, we got this Myochondria Eve. She's a bitch. She's also trying to destroy all life on the planet. Uh, just gonna get rid of one of these remedies. Cause I don't need one. I don't need them. I don't need to worry about status effects. I got a spell that can basically take care of that. Or I guess ability, because let's be honest, it's modern day. Spells, witchcraft, none of that really applies here. It's it's abilities. We have the ability to do so because, you know, we can communicate with our own mitochondria. Or rather, Aya can communicate with her own mitochondria. That looks like a bo- What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Startled me. I wasn't ready for that. Anyways... In the last part, I was talking about, you know, it'd be nice if we had a little bit of diversity in the dinosaurs. Uh, we got pterodactyls. They're annoying as hell. They also breathe some nasty gas. They have some laser beams. They fly around. They're better than bats, I'll give you that. They also look a lot more majestic. They have a little bit of a claw attack, which I keep forgetting they can do that. Because it does not stand out to a lot of their more interesting things. Oh, I can't wait for you to see one of their abilities, so to speak. Uh, also, I because this is the way to go, and I'm I'm 80% sure that that is what where we have to go. Oh, medicine for that that's gonna be good. I am tempted to go see what was behind that one path that we neglected. Which is probably going to be, you know, nothing. It's probably going to say it's locked. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I'm not even psychic and I knew it. It's just too predictable. Whenever I pass up something because I was like, well, I got to go this way. Obviously, it's just going to be locked. Fortunately, not much of a backtrack. So uh, going, going forward to new place, new discoveries, new things. And by God, we still got a lot of backtracking to do. Believe me, we haven't even gotten to the section where you get free range in all the museum to go wherever you want. More pterodactyls, by the way. Maybe it'll show its special ability. It has some nasty breath, but it... Oh, here we go. It has... Whoa. Game's glitching out a little bit. Uh, yeah, it, it can do that. It turns its head around and gets like a second mouth. It, it's quite weird. I, I love it. It's so bizarre, but I love it. Even the Cronenberg monsters that we had a while back, you know, that, that creative. That's all I'm saying. This game has a lot of creativity to it. I like it. It's also very much a modern day RPG, which is fantastic. Uh, very unlikely situation created, but not all the same. I like it. It's neat. It's neat. That, that's really all I can say about it. Anyways, ooh. We got a, one of those long neck brontosauruses. Aw, oh, damn. You're glitching out. The, the game can't handle your bizarre attack, man. Uh, I can't handle your bizarre attack. Jesus Christ. Little black box. Uh, I don't know if that's like an emulation issue. Or if that actually happened in the original game, but I do not recall that actually ha happening. Could be could have overlooked it. Let me just replace this deke here. I'm pretty sure we do not need that. Because darkness is... Darkness is really just in the first part of this whole entire day. Yeah, everyone remember that we went through a sewer? I don't. I completely forgot about that. We're in the museum. The museum is really the more memorable part of this entire day because stuff happens. A lot of stuff happens. The only thing that you'll probably remember is that you had to deal with slime and glop in the sewer. I can actually go this way. Did I want to, though? Shit, I don't think I did. I have no choice, though. I'm locked. I'm locked out. Stegosaurus. It, it won't come to life, unfortunately. <laughs> it would be neat if I if I had to fight a zombie stegosaurus. I had to fight zombie pterodactyls and zombie 
Raptors, which is probably not their actual name. It probably got updated and probably said something else. I don't really know. Maybe it's like something that's very similar. Newly discovered species that it now is classified under. I don't really know. They're changing dinosaurs. They're changing all the terms all the time because we have better science to deal with that kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't want that. I wanted to get rid of my full cure. I want my medicine three. I don't need a remedy. I have a spell that can take care of all the status. Okay, let me uh, let me just get rid of this. There we go. That's better. I have to. I can't go back. There was a little auto audio cue that. Holy shit. Okay, uh, I'm fine. I never slips. Let's see. Yeah. This is our only method, really. I do have to go down. I can't do anything else but go down. Uh, God forbid I'm missing an item, though. So, yeah, we're fine. I can't do anything that way, so... Obviously, go through the window. It's the only real thing we can do. Also, more pterodactyls. One's missing because it probably came to life. It's probably that thing right there. So, I, I'm sorry if it's really uninteresting. But I mean, fucking dinosaurs, man. I don't know how much more interesting I can phrase it other than we got zombie dinosaurs all over the place. Uh, this one's actually managing to hurt me because I'm being dumb and I'm in an enclosed space that I can't really move around a whole lot. I guess, I guess I will sacrifice that med medicine three. Uh, excuse me while I heal up a little bit. Just gonna do that and then I'm gonna sort out my inventory. Uh, it's better, it's better. I like, I like to keep my inventory just a bit more organized. So I can't go through that way, but I could probably do something here. There we go. I had, I had a feeling, you know. All that said, we got more enemies. More, oh my god, there's a mini boss. I mean, say what you want. You can, you can say that thing's probably just an average enemy, but I mean, fuck it, it's a mini boss. Say what you want, it's a mini boss. Okay, it, it, it acts like a mini boss, it hits like a mini boss. It, it has enough health to be qualified as a mini boss. It does some pretty nasty things, like I would expect a mini boss to do. Uh, it's tough. I don't want to encounter it on an average basis, like I would a mini boss. Uh, all the same, it goes down not quite boss like, so it, it's a mini boss. I'm I'm calling it a mini boss until I start encountering it on a regular basis, because let's be honest. Uh, it's guarding that door, which is locked, by the way, so I guess it's completely pointless regardless of how you look at it. I uh, still can't do anything with that, although I wonder, because I'm pretty sure the stair there were stairs and they were lit down there. The gate's closed. Yeah, okay. So really, it's just leading me down this way. I'm 80% positive it was all going to say I can't do anything with it. I have so I would have had to go this way. It, it's quite linear despite the fact that you think you have a little more vi viability in terms of options. You think it's a little more open-ended where you can explore the museum a bit a bit more. And you will. I, I promise you. You'll get more you'll get more areas to explore to your heart's content if you really want to explore the museum that badly. But for the most part you'll pretty much go through it. It's just that you'll have They'll have easy access to everything that you're seeing later on. Uh, I do want that jump, though. Let's see, is there anything I can really give up? I uh, still can't get rid of you. I can get rid of you, though. I guess I'll... I guess I... Christmas! Oh, yeah, that's right. This game does take place during Christmas. My inventory's full. Okay, let's see. If I was going to replace something... Uh, for the time being, be junk so I can get defense. I should probably uh, use that. Equipped it to my 
thing. Use. Put it on there. Okay, there we go. Let me get my junk again. All right, here we go. Uh, not going to be the last time we're going to be doing that. Man, I should really go to the NYPD just so I can deposit all my junk. I will be taking a brief respite soon, probably in the next part or two, depending on what happens between now and then. Oh. Oh boy, I thought I was done with blind. The blind status, you know. I, I thought darkness wasn't going to be an issue, but it turns out I was wrong. So let me just quickly use my medic ability. There we go. All better. I didn't know you were going to be annoying like that, man. Here, I was thinking you were really neat. Turns out I was wrong in every aspect. Let's see, I gotta figure out how to deal- oh my god, you have- you have that little blue breath beam. I don't really know what else to say other- than, I don't even know what to call it. How do you even classify these attacks? Because they're all weird. I mean, they're like DBZ weird, but at the same time, DBZ, they kind of just auto-name everything, and that's, that's kind of cool. Everything has a- has a name. In this game, I don't even know how to classify things. One, because I can't do them, and two, uh... It is what it is. You got breath attacks. It's like fighting dragons. I think that's why I like dinosaurs, so to speak. Because, I mean, pretty much what you could classify as dragons. In fact, that's what they did in medieval times. Because they didn't have any answers for dinosaurs. It was something new and unexplained that was just kind of unearthed. How do you explain a dragon? Or rather, how do you explain a dinosaur? You can't. They just don't have the brain power to figure it out. Much like me. I can't figure it out. Freaking dragons. I mean, it flies, it breathes fire. It's a dragon. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> this game's equivalent to a dragon. Modern day RPGs, you fight dinosaurs. But they're basically a dragon. That's really all I have to say, man. Okay, alright. We got, we got a prehistoric rumble here. There's a lot to go about it. I'm going to end the part here, so, uh, you know, do what you do. Uh, dislike if you disliked it. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I can't believe what's going on right now. I got to be honest. It's all blowing my mind. Also, leveling up is quite nice, but still, all this is blowing my mind. All this ammo is blowing my mind. Christmas tree, man. Can you save me? Can you help me? I have no idea what's going on. I, I can only stare and watch it in awe. It's my only solace.